guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and today's video is brought to you by this comment. So basically, today we're going to be making a fade that loops over and over again until you press stop or like start. So before we start, make sure that you have Explore and Properties under the View tab as they are very helpful and we need them. Then under the Explore, go into the Start GUI, click the plus enter in a screen GUI. You can name it whatever you want, so I'm just going to rename it to Repeat Fade. And I'm just going to make sure that there's no space. Then after that, under the Repeat Fade, click the plus and enter in a frame. So this will be the thing that we're going to make it fade over and over again. So we're just going to name this the Fade. And then now we need to make sure that it fills the entire screen. So go into the properties, scroll down until you find size. So size, just make sure it's 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So that should fit the entire screen. So you can just drag it in the middle. Just like that, there should be two green lines. You can see it also fills the entire mobile screen. So this will be what we're going to be making fade uh, over and over again. So you can change the background color. I'm just going to change it to black. And under the fade, you can click the plus and enter in a local script. You can name this local script repeat fade. And we can now start scripting. So local fade equals to script dot parent. And then go down two lines. And then while true do and we're just gonna put like an initial cooldown so wait three seconds and then write four i equals to one comma 100 do and then you can write fade dot background transparency plus equal to 0 0.01 and then after the end you can go down let's put another small cooldown of three seconds and then you can copy this line and you can just paste it right there and just make sure that this is a minus instead of an equal. So that will be our continuous fade script. So now we're just going to make the play button. So go back to the repeat fade and under the repeat fade, click the plus and enter in a text button. You can drag it into the middle. So there should be two green lines just like that. And then you can name it play because this will be our play button and then in the properties you can make it green because all play buttons are green unless yours is not and then you can change the text into play and then make the text scaled and then you can make a bold so the last thing we're going to do is under the play button make sure that you enter in a local script so click the plus enter in a local script and we're just going to name this play so you can write what I write so local button equals to script dot parent and button dot mouse button one click colon connect function make sure that the brackets look like this and then go down the line and then script dot parent dot parent dot fade dot repeat fade dot disabled equals to true so we're going to disable the repeat fade and then script dot parent dot parent dot enabled equals to false so we're just gonna close this entire thing so that should be a script so we can press play and go test it out so i just loaded it in and you can see that there's actually a little bit of a problem the fade goes instantly so we actually made a small problem in the script so this is what we're gonna do so after the fade dot background transparency we're gonna go down the line and we're gonna write wait 0.01 and make sure that you do it on both of them so wait 0.01 and now it should work so i'm going to press play again and we're going to go test it out okay so just load it in and you can see that the gui is fading and after three seconds it will fade back to the black screen very slowly just like this and after three seconds it will fade again just like that so if we wait for it to turn black once more so i can show you that press play it will go away 
So now that it's black, let's press play, and you can play the game. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We are getting really close to 275 subscribers, which is very epic. So yeah, that's it. Bye. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped, make sure to subscribe, just like what it says on the top of the screen. Subscribe if you eat food. So make sure that you do that, because I'm pretty sure everybody eats food. And uh, yeah, you can click the one on the left to subscribe, or you know, watch another tutorial on the right side. Okay, bye.